Today our topic is Wage Payment Plans Continuation Part 6 Group Incentive Plan There are two types One is Prishman Plan and second one is Scalon Plan See, already we discussed in the previous class about the time based, output based and now I am going to be discussed about Group Incentives First topic is Prishman Plan Prishman Plan It was proposed in 1970 Applied for groups. Uh, this is applied for only the groups and the next pay for pay of bonus. See already one standard output is based for that the worker is getting the bonus. If the organization reach the standard output or exceed previous year's output, workers increase the wages. Definitely workers will get the wages increases because of groups has the that much of capability to work to increase the efficiency of the output next example if in 1990 the output for worker hours was 10 units see in 1990 the worker hour had to be done 10 units in 1991 rises in 1991 it had to be 11 units per worker one worker have to do the production 11 units in 1990 year 10 units he have to be done. So the wages in 1991 would be 10% higher than those in 1990. See 1990 only 10, 1991 11 units. See how? Because already these people have the experience. Then only the 1991 the production is going to be increases. Advantages. Why? Because in 1990 only 10 units. In 1991 11 units because of team already we discussed group incentives right so it is increasing the team spirit and overall output of the enterprise all the workers would stand to benefit see definitely if the team has the good relationship definitely the production and the output is also going to be increased next the disadvantage is it may be insufficient to motivate individual workers particularly those who possess greater skills and experience Definitely, if, if the worker has the experience, 10 years, 11 years, 12 years, he has the great skills, then only he will increase the production. If the worker is don't have the, that much of experience, he will not going to be increase the production. This is the Prishman plan. It was proposed in 1917. Now the Scalon plan. This is also a group incentive plan. But this is housing the modified plan to the Scalon. We will see. This this plan is most proper, popular, saving the gains from increase the productivity. The productivity is going to be increased day by day because 10% participating bonus, 10% increase in production. If he is going to be increase the production, he will get the bonus and moreover, in group he is doing the work in a proper manner, he will get the bonus also. Benefit is extended to all employees. Only top level will not get. Only top level will not get okay top level management will not get only the employees will get the benefited next if in this plan worker are not paid entire bonus see for example i got the bonus 5000 rupees but in that 15 percent of the bonus they will keep aside because why they are going to be keep aside they will Keep it as reserve fund. This reserve fund, if there is any fluctuation, say for example, uh, in 1990, I secured 5000 rupees. They assigned 15%. Now in the, in this year, Corona time, uh, that much of production is not there, factories are shut down. This fund is going to be given to the workers. This is going to be helpful to Benefit the workers. You can see 50% of the creation of a reserve fund. This fund is used to neutralize the effects of any fluctuations in the labor cost. Labor cost sometimes it is going to be high, sometimes it is going to be low. So this is going to be affected. This is the overall concept of wage incentives plan. Prishman plan scalon. Thank you.